We finally have unicorns in The Sims 4, and I'm about to make my fairy tale dreams come true with this build. We also have mini goats and sheep, so I was thinking about making a fantasy pasture. I'm building on one of the giant lots in Hanford on Bagley because it's giving more fantasy vibes. As usual, I have a Pinterest board dedicated to this project. I'll link it down in the description. And this is the reference photo I'm using for the shape of the house. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the main structure. I'm gonna pull in the second floor and put a half gabled roof on either side and then put a gabled roof on the top to get that barn shape. I'm gonna click on this roof piece and press shift so that I can get this kind of curve shape. And then to make sure they're even, I'm just going to copy and paste this one to the other side. I'm also going to pull this front piece out a little bit and add a half hip roofed here to make just like a tiny bit of an awning. And then I'm going to draw a room here so that I can add a porch. I'm also going to try to build a cute little sunroom. I'll just switch to our good old octagon shape. I'm actually going to pull this all the way across because there is a little walkway here. And then this building is going to be the stable. My whole concept for this build is just fantasy, so I'm not too worried about like how realistic it looks. I love all of the little bump outs on this house. It's so whimsical. I'm gonna go ahead and use cottage living brick all over this thing. And then on these ends, I'm gonna add the decorative one. I'm gonna combine these windows to make one giant window. Since this part is the actual stable, I do want to have a big barn door. I have to use the brand new lights that came with the horse ranch kit. They're so perfect. I'm gonna use the horse ranch windows up here too. It's gonna be a little bit offset, but that is totally fine. I finished up the back by adding a couple back doors. I also used this awning just sized up. I'm just taking this ivy from get together and putting it pretty much everywhere. See, now I feel like we're really bringing in that fantasy element. That's what's gonna make this a unicorn farm. I definitely wanna add a cute little porch here. Let's put a couple of rocking chairs out here and like a little table. This wooden table with the little pink glass part kind of matches so perfectly. And you already know I have to add string lights under the deck. That's not even a question. I think it's time to dive into debug and do some landscaping. We just need to get it like facing away a little bit so it's not overtaking the build. You know, I think we could nestle the rabbit hole in right here. Add a cute little gnome there as well. This can be a little spot for the goats and sheep to play. We'll have a spot to lay out here and our hay trough and our water. Oh my gosh, goats can help in gardening by eating weeds. That's so cute and sheep can eat the bugs. That's amazing. Hee <laughs> hee, I lost a little bit of footage. I started drawing the terrain paint and I made a little garden patch over here. I'm just going for super like natural looking, lots of flowers, probably some wildflowers too. And then any of these spaces that I put plants in, I'm just gonna use dirt terrain paint to add a little more dimension. The key to getting landscaping to look cohesive is using the same like two or three plants over and over again. It feels repetitive, but that's honestly the key. Other than that, it's just strategic placement to kind of make everything look more dynamic. But the hard part now is filling this space and making it look natural. I'm gonna take this fence from Cottage Living and just make a big pen in the front yard here. This is gonna be our training space for the horse. I'll put a water trough out here, but I'm gonna leave the feeding for the horse in the barn. Unicorn, unicorn, not just horses, unicorns bestie. I'm gonna do the same thing with the grass where I have it kind of like clipping through the corners. I am in love with this build. I'm so glad I just buckled down and did it. As always, I'm uploading this to the gallery empty if you want to furnish the inside for yourself. All right, let's start working on the stable because I feel like that'll be the easiest to do. I'm gonna put down the flooring. Let's get the wallpaper in. We've got a little storage chest that's pretty cute. Oh, we've got this saddle display. We can have that in here. We'll get some nectar crates just chilling in here too. Maybe some artwork. Maybe this could be their logo for the farm. Since we're in Henford on Bagley, I'm pretty sure it's snow. So let's have a wood burning stove in here too to keep the babies warm. Ooh, let's put the Finchwick Fair posters in here. Cause we're in Henford on Bagley. And then of course we have all of the writing gear. We still got a little more room left. So I'm gonna add some cleaning supplies up here. Kind of loving how the light blue looks in here. I want to have these fancy barn doors going into the main part
part of the house too. Oh, that is so cool. You know what? There are some rundown bookshelves from werewolves that I could use. Oh, it comes in that blue color that's downstairs too. Let's do that. Oh, we can have this little thing in the corner. Oh, this has a bunch of little sticky notes on it. There are definitely kids in this house. All right, this is the family game room. It also happens to be a stable. Is it for a horse or is it for a unicorn? That's up to you to decide. So we've got the downstairs here. I decided to take out that fence. I feel like it'll be easier for gameplay this way. And then the trough is over here. We've got our little game room up here. And then this is gonna be the entrance to the rest of the house. I'm actually gonna go ahead and jump over to the house. Let's do a big open entryway. We'll have an office on one side and then this big room can be the dining room. We'll have the kitchen over here and then this will be our living space. Some of those columns that we used outside we can put here and use these beautiful spandrels indoors. And then here we can have our stairs wrap around this corner. That's looking cute. Okay, I love that. Okay, I'm really liking this layout. So we've got dining room here, kitchen here, maybe a bar or something right here with some stools. We've got bedroom number one, bathroom number one, and then either bedroom, bathroom number two, or a little bitty office and guest bathroom. There's this base game door that comes in a bunch of ranch swatches, which is so nice of them. I'm so glad they actually like gave us matching swatches on purpose. We'll put a tiny little end table in between. Ooh, I love the white. That is so like Southern rustic. And then up in the front here, I wanna add one of these mudroom cubbies. They're so cute. Ooh, we can put this tapestry in here too. You know what? This is really gonna help me decide what colors to put in here. Ooh, this one matches really well. I'm really liking just like the tiniest hint of blue. And then I need a pretty big big runner in this hallway. I feel like the red in this one, this is from laundry day, is so good. I'm actually gonna stick with that. I wanted this room to be an office because I feel like having your office in the front of the house away from everything else really helps with sound. Maybe we can have it in this corner. I think I'm gonna go with the plain rustic desk. And then we put our typewriter in here. There we go. Oh, it comes in green, look at that. Get an oil lamp. It's very like Cracker Barrel energy. <laughs> the change purse too. Oh my gosh. And then on this wall, I'm gonna add some bookshelves. Look at it. Okay, let's go on to this bathroom right here. Gosh, this bathroom is so cozy. I'm gonna lose my marbles. <laughs> it's so cute. I love this historical photograph in here. Maybe these are their ancestors. That is so cute. Oh, it's their house. Look. I feel like these are the kind of people that would get a painting of their house and put it in their house. Oh yes, very grandma core. I love that swatch. This one, oh yeah, very 70s. That's a musty curtains right there. Let's get those same end tables that we have in the hallway in here. Matching green lamp, are you kidding me? Quick tip, if you slide this out of the way and raise this up, you can place things on the little shelves underneath. Some Sometimes you can get it to the right height without mods. I'm gonna use tool mod to raise it up just a teeny bit more. We can also use the nine key to raise this up and put it on the side of the bed. Let's put that mudroom cubby that I was going to use outside here and hang clothes on it. So that, because it's a guest room, right? It makes more sense. And then you know what? Just to like really home it in, let's put a suitcase in the corner. So this is where your stayover guests can stay because that's a huge thing now, thanks to growing together. Guest room is finished. Look, it's so cute. Everybody stop what you're doing right now and save your game. And then let's do this bathroom in green to match the bedroom. Then we're gonna do a similar base as the other bathroom in this one, but I'm gonna add in more greens and pinks to match the bedroom. Maybe we can get away with this one because it has the green liner. Or the pink. Oh, let's do the pink one. And then we can bring the pink and green together like with decor and the rugs. I think that'll be cute. It's this one from Seasons. It is just perfect with these countertops. Cute, cozy bathroom, guest bedroom. All right, I have avoided it long enough. Let's work on the big open family space. So I'm thinking 
big dining table here. We have this one that came with horse ranch. We can put a nice rug underneath it. Oh yeah, this is gonna take up so much space. And since this is open, we can add some really pretty table decorations. Then maybe we can do just this little itty bitty candle on either side. Then we can have our little dining hutch over here. It matches up with that window so well. Oh my gosh, this little vintage radio too. It even has like a horseshoe swatch. Are you kidding me? We can also add this basket in. It's so pretty. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this here too. This is like some medicinal herbs. Ooh, and then over here, look at all those nectar bottles. Let's just have like, maybe these are samplers, little mini bottles. Ooh, let me throw in a little heirloom dish in here too. This does decor. I'm gonna add a rustic ladder bookshelf in here. And then on the top, we can add this vase which also came from horse ranch it is just so 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 gorgeous we can also add this plant that came with but size it down just a little bit this little juice barrel shelf is actually so cute i think i'm gonna leave that there so we've got nectar storage over here and then your fizzy juice <laughs> Put another chandelier in the center here. And then, you know what? Let's make this room stone. I think that's gonna be so pretty in here. I just, oh, I just discovered something so cool. If you line this right up with the window, it covers perfectly. How cool is this? How pretty is that? Oh my gosh. I want a pretty big couch in here. Let's get a matching room rocking chair in here oh my gosh it's so cute <laughs> yeah oh that's cute because then that lives us access to whatever's over here maybe a little play space for the kids in this room would be so cute no rant is complete without one we gotta have the mounted skull we'll put a little plant in the corner and i think we're finished with the living room well that turned out better than i expected let's jump on over to the kitchen so we'll have this go all the way around so we can still put a little trash can right here. Look at me remembering to put the trash can in. Wow! I knew Cottage Living would come through with some kind of adorable shelving to go over here. Oh, look at that! What? What? Look how good this matches! No way! What are the odds, man? The odds are so low, let me tell ya. Oh my gosh, we have to have these cast irons too. Are you kidding me? All right, not looking too bad. Since I, wa I want to bring back the cottage core element with this item that came with growing together, it is so flippin' cute, isn't it? Oh my gosh, we could do the white. Ah, we could have the white chicken up there. And then in builds like this, I always grab the little mushroom tea kettle from Cottage Living and set it right on the burner. Gotta have this. There is no question about it. Oh, look at the cinnamon sugar we could put another keg in this corner oh look at this guy he's so cute oh i just realized those are horseshoe handles there's so many details in this pack i swear oh these are really good too for kitchen clutter these are from cottage living as well and i think I think that's it. All right, let's pack it up, besties. We are almost finished with this massive build. So we're all just agreeing to ignore the roof right there, clipping, right? Is, is that what's happening right now? Say yes, because I honestly don't know how to fix it. I'll keep the rustic trim going, at least until we get to this room. So we'll have one room there, one room here. We could probably also get away with a room here. So this will be a shared bathroom for these two bedrooms. And then this is going to be, I think, the parents' bedroom. And they are going to get their own bathroom as well. Maybe like a little walk-in closet situation too. That would be nice. We've got some room. So let's put a cute little chair in this corner. Maybe this is the timeout chair. And then you know what? Instead of sticking it in this little closet, let's just have our laundry machines out in the open right at the top of the stairs. It's easier for everyone. We can also add in this adorable shelf that comes with laundry day. So this is meant to be a shared kids bathroom. So I'm going to make it a little bit more fun than the one downstairs by using green countertop. We'll use this adorable horseshoe shoe swatch what about this old timey training potty oh my gosh it's so little it's so cute 
Let's go to the bathroom clutter kit and just like kind of kind of mess this up a little bit. The bobby pins and the hair ties, too accurate. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. At least we can use these. Those definitely give kids room vibes. I, I'm really glad I ended up going with the mint green on the walls. It just adds such a fun little touch to this bathroom. I could turn this into a cozy reading nook. Ooh, let's do a fully built-in bookshelf. These ones from the book nook kit match so well. We'll add another rocking chair. I feel like you cannot have a enough rocking chairs in this style of build. And then I want to add in a little bit of a secret here. For some reason, it'll only let me place it here. So I'm going to add a block right there and make it stone. And then we have this ladder that goes upstairs. That little bench that we used in the front entry also fits really nicely right here. This gold swatch is so pretty with the rest of this room. Wow. Now I feel like because this is a family home, I wanna put a foosball table in here. And then to help ground the space a little bit better, I will add in one of these rugs for laundry day, put one of these lights over it, and we've got a little family play corner. I'm gonna add those same curtains to have some cohesive Let's do like a painting on this wall because we don't have much walking space around. Okay, actually kind of love this logo. Maybe it's their family name. Like it says family game room. That would be so cute. What if I added another little table like this? We put games on top of it next to it. Let's have one of these big stuffed animals in here. Maybe instead of having the chair over here, we could have two chairs like this. Ooh, then we can add another wood burning stove up here. <gasps> so cute, I love it. Okay, and then this upstairs room, I want this to be like a really cozy secret room. Or, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this an art space. Let's get the woodworking table up, get an easel, put it on this side by the window. And then you can open this window while you're painting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a craft room through and through. We've got a bunch of canvas storage over here. Some little makeshift curtains too. Oh, let's put aprons over here too. I just had an idea. I can put stuff on top of this as well. Let's put some cross stitching stuff up here. I just want like boxes of art supplies everywhere. Maybe this is a little duck that they carved at their little woodworking station. You know we have to put our favorite hanging plant back here. Obviously, we can't not. We've got sketches and schematics over here. Let's put this little tapestry that they could have woven. I guess we should maybe have some newspaper underneath this. That looks really nice. Little cozy creative painter's room is like, it's so cute. I'm really happy that I decided to add this. Now all we have left are the three bedrooms. Let's start with this kid's bedroom first. Why not? Let's just go for it. I mean, we have to go in with one of these wallpapers, right? There's no question. I feel like this is one of the older kids. Oh, the green looks really good with the blue and pink. We've got the green, blue, and pink. I feel like this is probably a child. Trying to balance the style of horse ranch with what a kid would actually enjoy. Oh, I love this white. This is the one we use in the entry. It works really well in here, too. Oh, this dresser fits so nicely in here. Maybe in white so it matches the end table. I'm gonna give them the tablet with the cow on it because it just feels right for a farmhouse teen, right? Oh my gosh, the stack of CDs. Wait, that's adorable. Oh my gosh, this little doggy planter is so adorable. I'm pretty sure it comes in <gasps> a pinky swatch. I have to use that. I feel like this one would be into crystals too. So we'll add in this mirror, which is just so good. How perfect is that? That we can have a little ottoman, a little circular rug here. This one from Horse Ranch matches so well. Then we'll just put a little bookshelf up on that wall. This is so, this is like very, very cool. Oh my gosh, even the grass rug looks so good in this room. And there we go. Here's our cozy tween room looking so cute. Oh my goodness. This room is a little bit bigger, so let's make it a bunk bed. Okay, so these are gonna be two younger boys. I've always loved this swatch of this wallpaper because it looks like nighttime, so why don't 
don't we go ahead and make these blue, both blue and have like a counting sheep theme in here? How adorable is this? Oh my gosh. Let's give them a big wardrobe so they can share it. Put a big cozy chair in this room too. Oh, I love this one. I switched out the side walls for this plain wood texture so that we can add some more wall decor without it being too visually overwhelming. These adorable cloud shelves comes in all different swatches. I'm gonna go with a plain white one though so that we can just have a little collection of floating clouds on this wall. We are just gonna fill these shelves with little toys they've collected over the years. And then last but not least, I think we need a circular rug in here. There's literally a sheep rug. Hold on to your horses or your sheep because there's literally a sheep rug. I'm gonna lose my mind. It's even blue. It's got little stars on it. Obviously, I'm putting the cloud light in here. I would be Ranunculus if I didn't. It would be absolutely silly if I didn't. And that means we only have one room left! The primary bedroom. Let's bring this trim that we've been using in here, but I'm also gonna add some of this masonry. Ooh, we could bring this masonry in the bathroom too and have a totally stone bathroom. That is so cool. Let's go ahead and do this bathroom since I'm already here. I'm gonna add in this rustic sink from Horse Ranch. And you know I have to use this mirror from Growing Together. It is so perfect for this pack. Ooh, that dark blue herringbone is so pretty. Cute little towel here. Let's grab a robe. I'm actually gonna put this robe on the back of the door by holding the alt key and then using nine to raise it up and the door will still be functional. Let's keep that blue color going throughout the bedroom too. You know what? I like this one because it kind of mimics a softer version of what we've got going on in the hallway here. This painting has followed us all around the house, but the swatches and the colors are just so good. I mean, look at that. I'm actually gonna put a coat rack next to this dresser just to add like a little something to it. Oh my gosh, the little sheep ottoman, I have to. Let's add a mirror. Let's add a shelf of rain ranch stuff in here too. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. There we go. Now we've got the red in this corner. We've got the bed in this corner. And we are finished with this build. This has got to be one of my favorite builds that I've ever done. The exterior of this house is beyond anything I have ever tried to create before. I'm also just obsessed with the horse ranch pack decor items and the furniture is so, so, so pretty. It just matches really well with a lot of different packs. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Bye friends!